He was his best of the season, says manager George Graham. But Merson's form is not the only reason why Arsenal supporters feel confident tonight. The Gunners have not lost an FA Cup replay here at Highbury for 32 years. Well, that was before David O'Leary was born. But tonight, he's a born-again centre-half after Sunday's injury to Steve Bold. Lee Dixon returns at right-back after missing four matches. West Ham field an unchanged side. Tony Gale is still out with a calf strain. Liam Brady is still revered by many here at Highbury, so a lot will depend on whether he can give the Hammers a foothold in midfield tonight, where he gets a great reception. Excited young faces as this London derby approaches its second phase. West Ham wearing white tonight, defending the clock end in the first half. It's the same referee as on Sunday, Neil Midgley of Bolton. And here's Rowcastle for Arsenal. Brady. Michael Thomas. Mercy. Smith's in the middle and so is Marwood already. Rowcastle. Nice fresh evening. bit of frost in the air. Here's Lee Dixon. Well, he starts well enough. Had a virus that originally kept him out of the side, Lee Dixon. Good long kick by Alan McKnight. Looking for Marwood. Got Winterburn just behind him. Thomas. Merson, Thomas. And still, Marwood was there. Oh, and against the... Back of the goal, but offside flag up. It won't count. Thomas did some good work here and just held on to find Marwood. It was right inside the angle, but the linesman's flag was up and offside was given. No goal. On by Rosenia to Kelly. Dickens is waiting in the middle for West Ham here. And Dixon it was who got it away. Good defending by Lee Dixon in his first FA Cup tie for Arsenal to thwart the man who put West Ham ahead on Sunday. It was a good move, this, with David Kelly making the running on the right. Dickens hurled himself, but so did Dixon. Merson looking to flick it on. This is Brady. What a good ball by Marwood. And Merson behind Dix. Corner. O'Leary takes the near post position. Smith and Adams to come in behind him. Back again with Marwood. O'Leary on. Richardson was nearly in there. West Ham survive. But play is compressed into their half for the moment. Dickens releases that. Dixon and Merson and Marwood's coming in. What a thrilling goal that would have been. And Arsenal are saying that Marwood was shoved. They're surrounding Neil Midgley. He's waving them away. And one or two of the protests may have gone too far. Tony Adams, the captain, being spoken to. 
but Arsenal clearly feel they should have had a penalty. It was a lovely move, that should be said, with Lee Dixon combining with Paul Merson, first-time stuff. Now, as the cross is whipped in, in comes Potts behind Marwood. Was it a push? Arsenal said yes, the referee said no. so close to an own goal corner to Arsenal Marwood will take it away by Rosenia and Marwood yet again Dix again Adams in there with Brady was it <laughs> Brady having to defend full-time for the moment goes for most of the West Ham team as Arsenal go for the jugular just before half-time. It's incessant now. Winterburn. Smith. But West Ham hang on. And finally, Paul Ince breaks away. Devonshire. First half draws to a close. Long kick by Lukic. Alvin Martin with Smith. And 45 minutes of passionate cut tie football. Rather too hectic for too much polish or finesse and few scoring chances. But Brian Marwood at the centre of the two incidents the crowd will be discussing at half time. He was judged offside when he put the ball in the net and he didn't get a penalty when he felt he was pushed. The last team to beat Arsenal here at Highbury in an FA Cup replay was West Brom back in 1957. And if West Ham are going to emulate that, they're going to have to match Arsenal for fitness in this uh, second half. See whether the legs of uh, Devon Shiru just took that free kick and Brady on the ball now will lust the pace as well as the young, vibrant Arsenal midfield. Here's Alan Smith. Well, Alvin Martin has come out for the second half, even though we thought he was uh, battling against injury towards the end of the first. He's still a master at finding time and space. Liam Brady warming to the occasion, a chance to show the North Bank who used to idolise him, but he still has that touch of artistry. But West Ham are going to have to take off Alvin Martin, as we suspected towards the end of the first half. He's injured, and 23-year-old Yorkshireman Gary Strodder, the former Lincoln City player, who is a centre-back, has taken his place. Dixon. Marwood. Two against him here. Oh, he's beaten them both. Great play by Marwood. He's such a straightforward footballer. No messing about on the ball, no hesitation. When Brian Marwood gets possession, his first and only intention is to threaten the goal, either with an early cross or with a shot like that.
having their own cup tie on the terraces tonight. West Ham at one end, the North Bank roaring Arsenal on at the other. It all makes for a very good atmosphere at Highbury. Devonshire for West Ham and Dickens, a typical burst through the centre by him. Adams got there just in time. Dickens was pushed over after the ball had gone. Referee aware of that. This is Richardson. Smith. Straight to Smith from Marwood. And back. Merson in the centre. So is Rocastle, so is Thomas. Winterburn. Merson's there. Caused Alan McKnight a moment of anxiety for Merson there. Looping header. Cross coming from the trusty left foot of Nigel Winterburn. Merson unchallenged, and it was dropping right against the angle, or just behind. Rain is falling now in the second half. Kelly, Dickens, Rossenia, good combination play by West Ham. It'll come right now to Devonshire. Hammer's supporters urging them on from behind that goal. This is Potts. Marwood picking up Thomas's pass, finding Rowcastle. Now there could be an opening here. Merson. Driven it at Dix. Merson again. Rowcastle flags up. Play on, Rowcastle. Referee played an advantage, even though his linesman was flagging on the far side. No complaints from the players. Brady to Devonshire. The two older hands setting up another West Ham attack. Dickens is through the centre forward channel now. Here's Kelly. Dickens. Sensible play. Devonshire. Three West Ham men in the area as Brady joins in. And Dickens! Well, that was a very important piece of defending. This is Marwood. Smith and Merson are waiting. Potts, another good challenge. It'll be a corner, though. Well, Richardson's working overtime. And Arsenal are having to. O'Leary has come forward to the near post area. Smith and Adams wait behind him. And still Arsenal can't get the flick on from the corner. Marwood. Merson, no, Smith, Dix. Oh, what a scramble. And Rowcastle caught out by Brady, who seems determined tonight to prove to everybody at Highbury that he's still the class player that they remember here. Rossenia. And he is proving it. Lusting the pace superbly well with a quarter of an hour to go. Richardson to Merson. Thomas. Rowcastle. And Arsenal forced to go back. West Ham pulling everybody bar Rossenia into their own half. Here's Thomas. Nice change of direction by Thomas. Richardson. Winterburn, but still it goes square. Thomas again. Oh, well played. Smith. Merson. Smith's closing in. Oh! Smith's leg not quite long enough even then. And Merson made it possible, but Alan McKnight pounced as another Arsenal player beyond Smith came in. It might have been Lee Dixon who was close, but Smith stretches. Yes, Dixon would have got it if McKnight hadn't. Dickens to Devonshire. And still Devonshire, it's opening up for him. Well, John Lukic made a rather scrambled save there. The Hammers have got a corner. 
not sure that it was going in or not from Devonshire. He certainly didn't strike it as well as he might have done. But uh, anyway, a corner it is. And Strodda is up this time at the near post for West Ham. Here he is now. Back again to Devonshire. <laughs> Danger. Merson's clearance. Only back as far as Brady. Oh, how well he did that. Strodda's there. So is Dickens. And Adams pauses. Rosenia was there. And West Ham scored. Leroy Rosenia. One of the finest moments of West Ham's season. Adams hesitated and Leroy was in. And Liam Brady on his old patch makes it possible with a wonderful piece of play, change of direction. The ball was hooked back in by Dickens, Adams waited, Rosenia didn't, and Lukic couldn't save it. And John Lyle down there, not showing his emotions, but what an opportunity here for West Ham. It's their supporters, who we can hear at the moment, at the right-hand end, and look at that. <laughs> Gary Lewin, the Arsenal physio, came on the pitch to return the ball and almost joined in the game. That's how desperate things are for Arsenal at the moment. O'Leary. Adams is there, Smith's there, Marwood's there. And they can't believe it in the crowd, how it stayed out. Relief at the West Ham end. Well, any one of three players could have got the touch. Marwood did, but not to direct it where he wanted it to go, and he's hurt. And two substitutes on, Perry Groves and Paul Davis. As David Rocastle goes off, and Brian Marwood limps off. And now West Ham want to make a substitution. Liam Brady may not be on the pitch if and when the great moment arrives for West Ham because he's going to get his ovation now. Has he done enough as he gives way to Kevin Keane? Smith's up there. It's going to come to Paul Davis. And still West Ham survive. We've been playing now for four minutes over time. And one more ball perhaps for them to deal with. And they're away here, Kelly and Rosenia. And there it is, one of the great turn-ups of the third round. West Ham United, bottom of the first division, have put the championship leaders, Arsenal, out of the FA Cup on their own Highbury ground. And Liam Brady, for him, surely, one of the finest moments towards the end of his career that he's enjoyed on the ground which he graced for so long. He applauds the West Ham fans, they salute him, and a brave side who lost their captain, Alvin Martin, but with the likes of Devonshire and Brady and Stewart leading the way, Rosenia got the goal. A terrific display of character by a team who many people thought might be a soft touch in the replay. No way were they. Arsenal nil, West Ham won, West Ham go to Swindon in round four, and Arsenal are out of the FA Cup. I think after Sunday's match, most people expected West Ham to get rolled over a bit here tonight, well, didn't they? I mean, wh wh where did the... The bookie, the bookie certainly did. He could have had seven to one about us today, I believe, but uh, I didn't get on anyway. But um, where did these reserves of character come from? I mean, no, no Mark Ward, no Stuart Robson, no Tony Gale, Alvin Martin off injured. Yeah. It was a real battling performance. Yeah, I think uh, the match on Sunday uh, gave us a lot of confidence. Uh, you know, to, to go two, goal, two goals ahead against Arsenal, we felt, well, there's no reason to fear them because we had them in trouble on Sunday. And uh, cup football, there's such an atmosphere, it doesn't re you don't really sense which ground you're playing at. Yeah. So that's the way it was today. And the longer the game went on, the more chance I felt we had. And, uh, well, I think the best team deserved to win, on football, anyway. What about the goal? You played a part in the move at first. Alan Dickens helped it on. Were you surprised to see Leroy get in there? 
Yes, uh, Alan Diggins just played it over the top of Tony Adams, and I think about three Arsenal players hesitated, and Leroy took advantage and just nudged it, uh, you know, a, a neat little header in the far corner, and uh, Lukic couldn't do anything about it. And there was always going to be one goal tonight because uh, there wasn't many, many chances. There weren't many chances uh, created, and the goalkeepers didn't have many saves to make. But having said that, it was quite a good game. When you came off just before the end, were those last few minutes agonising for West Ham? Because the, the referee paid about five minutes of stoppage time. Well, I, I think we got more nervous when we scored, funnily enough. Uh, when we went 1-0 up, I, I think we, we began to tense up again, thinking, oh, it's only 15, 15 minutes left. Uh, when I went off, certainly, I was uh, screaming at the referee to blow up. <laughs> At the end there, you went to the West Ham supporters, having for so many years at the end of famous matches here, gone to the North Bank. Yeah. It seemed a bit strange to you. Well, it did in, in a way, but uh, the Arsenal supporters know that uh, my nine, ten years here, uh, you know, I'm not going to forget, but I'm playing for West Ham now. And I'm enjoying my football, and they understand that. Great night for Liam Brady and the Hammers. Out go many people's FA Cup favourites, and it's West Ham who go to Swindon in the next round.